good morning. What we're going to do today is take care of some things in our overgrown gardens. We are moving, and this plan of moving has been materializing for quite some time. Good morning to the flock. So we have neglected, to say the least, our garden. Overgrown. But there's still plenty growing in here that is probably not gonna ripen. So what I'm going to do is go through and get all of our green tomatoes out to make a little salsa verde. This is what's referred to as our coop garden because we use the coop as a trellis. But like I said, we this has been in a state of neglect for quite some time. But I'm seeing plenty of green tomatoes that they're just never going to reach maturity. With this being October 2nd. I thought I saw some over here. So we got a decent little haul of green tomatoes from the neglected garden. Tomatoes that aren't going to ripen. No tomato sandwiches. But we're gonna make a fantastic salsa. Give them a quick wash. We've got one tomato that's going to stay on the ledge because I think that's going to ripen up. So a quick wash of the tomatoes. Just over three pounds of unripened green tomatoes. All we're going to do now is cut them up, get the stems off, get them ready for our salsa. Got some hot peppers here, got some habaneros, I'm sorry, some jalapenos that I grew. Uh, we froze these at the, somewhere in the middle of the summertime, and we have some, what looks like a habanero in there, and something else. I got these from a friend, but uh, what I'm going to do is stick those in the magic bullet as well and liquefy them. Um, I just feel it spreads out the heat a little bit throughout the salsa. Ooh, smelling this stuff brings tears to your eyes with those hot peppers in there. Woo! I'm going to throw a couple onions, a couple cloves of garlic in. And if you're wondering about recipes or how much, it's very much an eyeball situation. I use what I have. I don't go out to the store. We're going to make something delicious with what we have right here. Onions and garlic added. Now at this point, you can add whatever spices you like. I like to add a little cumin, some seasoned salt, maybe just a touch of chili powder. Um, also going to add some lime juice or the lemon juice, whatever I have here. I um, don't believe I have any fresh limes, but we're gonna check. <sighs> Unfortunately, no fresh limes. 
So we've got the real lime, 100% lime juice from concentrate. How much of it? That much. What I do have, do have, do have, however, was some oranges in the fridge. We're gonna experiment. Oranges can't be wrong. in and now we're just going slow and low with the temperature so I'm gonna leave it on here till everything liquefies um, and I'll be back of course nothing gonna to go to waste we have our green tomato stems and the parts that were just a little bit funky girls will make short work of them now we've been simmering here under low very low heat and the tomatoes are starting to break down I just come through with a wooden spoon and I try to crush as much as I can so the sauce is still chunky but it doesn't have huge chunks of green tomato in it so after I do that, I'm going to let it sit and cool before I jar it up and we have a taste test. A funnel would be an awesome thing to have right now, but something I don't have. Just add it to a small pint jar. All the way up to the top now I'm not um, canning these in any way not water bathing them this salsa will be eaten very very soon so our batch of green tomatoes landed us two pint jars of salsa verde along with a little bowl to product test. So here we go. I'm a little afraid uh, those peppers smelled extraordinarily hot. Let's go. Oh yeah. Definitely feel it. Definitely feel the heat kind of sneaks up on you a little bit, but it's not so bad that it takes away from the flavor of the salsa. Definitely a good batch. Well, thanks for checking us out. Um, try to get back to you sometime later this week with another uh, farming adventure. Bye.